Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll show you guys how to play PS1 and PSP ISOs on your PlayStation Vita with the Adrenaline PSP emulator. So if you guys are interested, all you want to do is go and start up Vita Shell. You then want to press select to connect your PS Vita to your PC via USB cable or FTP server. And then I will show you guys what to do next. Alright guys, so once you're on your PC, I will be showing you guys how to use these three types of files. So right here, I've got a PSP game, and it's in an ISO folder, so to get a folder, all I did was right-click, new folder, and call it ISO, and this is where you want to put all of your PSP games. The next thing I've got right here is just a PSP homebrew game, it's based off the game called Portal, and I'm just going to show you guys that that works as well. And then the last thing on here is just a PlayStation 1 game in the eBoot format. I have a video on that, on how to convert PlayStation 1 ISOs into eBoot ISOs for PSP, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. But anyway, once you've got the three types of games that you wish to have, I will leave a link in the description to the latest version of 6.61 Adrenaline. So all you want to do is just click um, the VPK file right here and then that will start downloading to your PC's downloads folder. So that is pretty much the only sort of VPK you will need. And what you want to do guys is the first thing is just drag and drop the VPK on the root of your PS Vita. So I've got mine connected via USB so it just looks like this. Then what you want to do to find all your hidden files is go to view tick the hidden files box right here, then go up to options, then go to view, scroll down and untick this file. It's going to say, um, you know, this, you could mess up stuff, so just click yes, then just click apply and OK. As you can see, now all of the hidden files are showing. So the file we need to focus on for this video is PSPMU, and if I just go into it, I've already copied my stuff across just because it would save time, but basically what I did was copied the ISO folder with my game in, to the root of the PSPMU. So let me just show you. This file here, ISO, copy that across to the root of the PSPMU folder, as simple as that. And then the next thing um, I did was if you go into the PSP folder right here, and if you go into the game folder, this is where you want to put all of your homebrew games, emulators, and PlayStation 1 games. So as you can see, here are my two games. If I just go to my downloads folder, I copied these two games into the PSP's game folder. So hopefully that is the simplest way of explaining it. Pretty much you just use this like a PSP file that, you know, ISO on the root and then PSP game. All your emulators and PlayStation 1 games in here. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the PC. Um, it's actually really easy to set up. You don't need to add firmware anymore because it can auto download the firmware for you now. So once you've got your PlayStation Vita looking like this, you can disconnect it from your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so once you're back on your PS Vita from your computer, if you've still got this message up, you can just press circle by now. And what you want to do is scroll down, and if you've got SD to Vita, you need the UR0 folder. If you're just using a normal um, sort of PS Vita SD card like me, you just use the UX0 folder. So find which one yours is, and then scroll all the way down, and you're looking for the VPK file. So all you want to do is press X on it. It's then going to come up saying, do you want to install this package? Press X for yes. It's going to come up with another notice saying this is an unknown source. So just press X for yes. Now it is just going to start installing. If you have problems with installing these, it's because you need to turn on unknown homebrew sources um, in the PS Vita settings on the Henkaku settings. But anyway, once that is done, now press circle. You can press the PS Vita home button and completely close out of Vita shell. As you can see, now um, Adrenaline is on our home menu. So all you want to do is just press X on it and then press X on start. So it's going to say the 6.61 firmware has not been installed yet and the 6.61 PvP does not exist. Press X to download the PSP 6.61 firmware. So just press X. It's then just going to start downloading the firmware. And once the firmware finished downloading, it's just going to back you out to your home screen again. But all you want to do, just tap it again, and then just tap it for start. Now it is just going to boot up on the official 6.61 firmware. 
Um, it says press X to install the 6.61 firmware on your memory card, so just press X. Now hopefully it's going to load it. Creating directories. So this might take a minute, just let this, um, you know, do its thing. You'll now get a notice that's saying the firmware has been installed successfully. Press X to reboot the PSP XMB, so press X. It's now just going to reboot. And you will be in the PSP firmware. So you guys should know this well if you're a PSP user, but just go to the setup process. So English, London for me, and that's the correct date and time. Um, here in, you can just put your name in it if you want to. Um, so let me just put my name in real quick. It's come up already. Then continue, um, and then press X to resume. So there you go, guys. Now if we go on our memory stick, it will hopefully come up here is my PSP ISO that I copied across. Here is my PSP Homebrew game that I copied across. It's also come up with VHBL, I'm not quite sure why. And here is my PS1 game that I copied across. So as you can see, everything's working. This is basically like a normal PSP interface. This is actually really cool uh, to see on the PS Eater. Um, let me just boot one game. Let me boot into this and show you guys that it works. Now the cool thing is guys, these games run at full speed and the graphics is actually really good. Obviously it's normally on a PSP screen, so it might be a bit pixelated, but then the PSP is quite an old console. So yeah, that is actually really cool. These games run really nicely. Let me just show you a PS1 game real quick. If you just press the home button, um, you can quit the game just like you would in the PSP. So now we're just gonna find the PS1 game that I've got on here, which is Harvest Moon. Let me just go into that real quick. As you can see, it boots up just like a PS1 game. And there you go, PS1 games load perfectly fine as well. If you guys wish to completely exit the emulator, all you want to do is just double tap the PlayStation button, that will close it down, and now you can just close the whole thing. So that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you set up Adrenaline and play PS1 ISOs and PSP ISOs. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.